My friends, today we're going to do something just a little bit differently. Usually I cover Cyrax stuff that's current, and don't worry, we're still going to be doing that almost every week. But for right now, I want to take a walk down memory lane and look back at one of the things that people criticize Cyrax for the most. One of the most disturbing things Cyrax has ever done... And something he refuses to admit. Now, he refuses to admit damn near everything, but this thing in particular, well, you see, all the things line up to prove that this was Cyrax in the wrong here, but he'll never admit that, and you'll soon see why I say those things. Most people hate Cyrax because of all the pedophile stuff, and you can 100% just point to that, and that's, that's bad enough for somebody. But what if I told you Cyrax actually did assault somebody back when he was in high school? It was a kid about a year younger than him, and was one of his best friends at the time, a kid named Billy. Billy happens to be blind, so it makes us all a lot worse when you consider what he did to a blind kid, and you'll soon find out. Cyrax is going to tell his side of the story, then Billy's going to tell his, but before we do that, I want to show you Cyrax's reaction to when he heard that Marty was in contact with Billy and that he was possibly going to get him on a panel and talk with Billy about this whole situation. Let's hear what Cyrax has to say. The, all the sources for where I got these videos are down below, so if you want to go watch them in full, you can go watch them in full there. And yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely one of Cyrax's worst moments, and he shows it here when getting questioned on it, because he does what he always does. He, he lies, he lies, and then finally when he's backed into a corner he just lashes out and that's exactly what happens when cyrax confronts billy at the very end of this video so stay tuned for that because my friends if you have never seen that it's uh <laughs> it's it's rage inducing for the little goblin so i'm usually cutting in every like couple minutes just to interject in this video i'm gonna let clips play out a lot longer to get the point across it's gonna be a pretty long one so i hope you guys got your smokes and got your snacks and you can sit right in and enjoy this so let's just get right into it and hear cyrax how he feels about marty getting in contact with uh, the kid that he abused all those years ago so marty i found out that you actually did talk to billy siler today But one thing you gotta understand, Marty, is this. Do you really think somebody that rapes somebody is gonna fucking admit to it? You're fucking stupid, nigga. You're fucking stupid. Do you really think Billy's gonna admit to raping me like he did? No. You're dumb, dude. Billy's gonna continue to, to deny it. He's gonna continue to deny that he ever did it. It was already proven by the school that I went to and the police that he did do what he said he did. So, Marty, you need to fuck up before I punch you in your goddamn fucking face. And put you in the goddamn ground, dude. Because I'm fucking tired of your slanderous comments, bro. Like, for real. I'm over here trying to shoot footage on the crew, too, for a fucking film that I've been working on for the past four fucking years. That I've been wanting to work on. I'm trying to get footage shot for that shit. But... I can't even do that without you running your mouth like a pussy. Like, Marty, you really think that you trying to make me look like a fucking rapist is going to work? It's not, you fucking dumbass. It's not gonna fucking work, Marty. Like, you think that just because you contacted Billy and got in contact with him, you think that that makes your case better, but it doesn't. You need to let it go. I just found out, I just found out, babe, that he actually did get in contact with Billy. He actually did contact him via, face, via Facebook. But it's okay, though. 
Because like I said, Marty, your futile attempts to make me look like this are just that. They're futile. They're dumb. Like, who in the right mind is going to admit to raping someone, you fucking moron? Like, for real, you, you do you really think he's going to fucking admit to what he did? No. Do you really think that's going to fucking work? Not a chance. So, Marty, I hope you know that come Monday, your ass is done. Come Monday, your ass is done for. There's a lot of things we have to talk about here. Number one being that he keeps using the excuse, of course he's going to lie about it. Nobody in their right mind would admit to doing that to somebody, right? Exactly what Cyrax is doing right now. He doesn't understand that by saying all this stuff about Billy can be exactly, it can just be pointed right back at him, right? Like, he, he doesn't understand that Cyrax, like, if you keep talking about Billy denying it, what, how does that make you look, considering it's coming from the person who deflects everything that they are onto other people? people. Another thing that Cyrax does is he exhibits the traits of an abuser, just threatening violence on the person who's willing to out them, who's apparently going to talk to someone who just has a different point of view on this than Cyrax, and all Cyrax can talk about is how much he's going to beat his ass, this, that, and the third. Cyrax does a lot in this clip right here. Another thing he does is he says, you know, that is not going to work. You are not going to make me look like a rapist. The same thing he says when he talks about the fact that he got caught being a fucking pedophile and talking to someone he thought was a 14-year-old. Cyrax always does this. He does it now with when people say you're going to be the next Chris Chan when I don't think he's the next Chris Chan. He's definitely the first Cyrax, though, but he's up there on low-cow levels giving people laughs. And he always uses this to say, you know, you're not. that's not going to work. You're not going to do that. When this only happens when he knows it's something that he did that he's caught with and he just wants to act like he's the honest one. All these people who have proof, yeah, they may have proof and they may have proof that I did these things, but no, I'm telling the truth. I'm being honest and you just have to believe it and take it at that. Um, do you really think I'm just going to roll over and bow down to your fake fucking ass? Not a chance, pal. Not a fucking chance, bro. You see, that's the biggest issue with all this. It's not about telling the truth. It's not about being honest about what happened between him and Billy. It's all about being right and being above Marty and not letting Marty walk all over him. Because, you know, admitting to something that Marty has on him, admitting that he's wrong in that situation, fuck no. Because Marty, you're just a dirty troll. All you do is fuck with me. Why would I ever do anything to make it easy for you? Why would I ever do anything to make your shit easy? So that's the way Cy Cyrax looks at it. You know, no matter what I do, I can't agree with Marty. If Marty ever has me pinned on something, he's the one who's the bullshitter. He's the one who's in the wrong for even calling me out on it. And that's the whole thing about this. I think a main reason, one of the biggest reasons, why Cyrax is just so, so not willing to talk about, like, anything truthful on this situation is because he's afraid that it'll make Marty look good. It won't make him look bad, but it'll make Marty look Look like he was right, and that's just that won't fly in Cyrax's world. Like I said, Marty, do you really think? Do you really fucking think for one minute that he's gonna admit to raping me? No, he's gonna continue to deny it. Yeah, he did by text message on Facebook. They had talked back and forth on Facebook. And but if you go to that video and type in the timestamp that I showed you, an hour and 51 minutes and 20 seconds, you'll see the screenshot where they actually spoke. But Marty, you think that, you know, you're going to get away with this, but you're not, dude. Like, you're not going to get away with this. You're just committing slander on top of everything else that you've done. Like, for real. Oh, my name's already been cleared, dude.
My name's been cleared for fucking years. For fucking years since it happened, my name got cleared. We spoke to the school. We spoke to the police. They know what Billy did. They know what Billy did. That's why they removed me from that school because of what he did. So it didn't happen to me again. That's why they did what they did. They removed me from the school so that I would not have that happen to me again. And so that me and him are separate so that it doesn't happen again. It's not that hard to fucking understand. It's not fucking rocket science. You see, one of the reasons many people, including myself, believe that Cyrax is lying on this is because he constantly falls back on that particular excuse. He says that they threw me out of school to protect me while letting Billy stay there. Now, I know Billy's blind and he may not be a threat to most people, but that's fucking bullshit if you're trying to get people to believe that they let the rapist say, stay in school while kicking you out for your safety. Because in Chance's world, remember, they only care about him. Fuck all the other kids in his school, right? Let them go to class and deal with this kid who's a who's a known rapist, apparently. But, you know, Cyrax, we're going to save you, buddy. We know you're just walking around too cute. We know that that Lincoln Park shirt you're wearing is way too revealing and it's driving Billy nuts. So for your own safety, we're kicking you out of school. Bullshit. Bullshit. They would never kick the victim out of school and let the other kids stay. Now, I know America's a pretty fucked up place sometimes on those things. I've heard of stories before where they'll be like, oh man, well, we think it'd be better if you leave the school because this kid's family's like either rich or something. Some really fucked up stories. Nonetheless, I highly doubt... I highly doubt that Cyrax's public school, wherever the fuck it was, just looked and said, nah, we'll keep blind Billy Cyrax because we, we found you completely innocent and we're just, we just gotta let you go, kid. And like your, your, your grades aren't looking too well and his are looking better, so you gotta go. It's just, no, nah, no, nah, that's never, that doesn't happen. And Cyrax here, him, him trying to get people to believe this is, is it's, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I just find it funny that Marty's trying to, sit here and say I did something I didn't do when my name's been cleared for what 10 13 years now something like that like about 13 years yeah about yeah about 13 years my name's been cleared my name has been cleared for 13 fucking years by the police and by the school so yeah Marty Do you really think that what you're saying is going to fly? It's not. Yes, I do. Because I looked up the, uh, I looked at the screenshot and I pulled up his name on Facebook and they're exactly the same person. So yeah, he did, he did talk to him. I can honestly say for a fact that Marty actually did talk to him. But like I said, Marty, you like to twist shit and make me look like the bad guy. I'm not a fucking rapist. I don't touch little kids. If anything, that's Tony. Tony's the one that touches little kids, not me. He ain't gonna involve the police. He ain't that fucking smart. He may be smart, but he ain't that fucking smart. I believe Cyrax meant to say dumb here and got it mixed up because if he does mean that it would be smart for Marty to call the cops, well, that would just mean that it would get Cyrax here in trouble. Um, and you know he hates being in trouble. He doesn't want to take uh, accountability for any of this. He's just getting sitting here throwing out anything he can, talking about why Billy, the blind kid, may I add, is the one who uh, who took Cyrax's uh, innocence in the dark. In the dark, once again, may I add, the blind kid in the dark took took Cyrax by force, but yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, you'll you'll understand this a lot more later. Cyrax is just sitting here 
bullshitting his way through this. He, he's You can tell he's very nervous about the fact that Billy is going to talk to Marty. He doesn't, he doesn't like this at all. And them contacting the cops, you can see a little bit of fear in his eyes. I don't think he's afraid that he's going to get arrested right now, but I think he's afraid that they'd find out that, yes, Cyrax was the one who, like, was in trouble for this, and then he'd just have to freak out and go, you weren't there. You weren't there. How would you know? Yeah, they can tell you all you want, but I was there. You weren't there, and that's not what happened. Because he does that a lot when people bring up, oh, well, this happened this day. Look at the police report. Doesn't matter. You weren't fucking there. All he's going to do is blow it off and do this, that, and the other. That's all he's going to do. That's all he's going to do. He's just going to blow it off and go about his fucking day. And even if he does get a hold of the police, they're not going to do shit. That was 13 fucking years ago. You really think they're going to do anything now? No. It's been done and over with. So, Marty, grow the fuck up and move on, you loser. For real. There's no reason Cyrax would get so defensive over them contacting the police. Of course, it was 13 years ago, and Cyrax is right. They wouldn't do anything. But why is he so, like, Cyrax, this is to get justice for you, for, for a guy who raped you. And you're sitting there like, that was 13 fucking years ago. You think they're going to do nothing? Nah, they ain't going to do nothing. And it's just like, why are, why why do you feel that way? Like, you're the victim here. But no, once again, he just slips up again, and he's just kind of like, nah, don't even try it because they won't do anything which, like I've said already, they won't. It's been done for 13 years. But you can see in his eyes, he's thinking like, you know, don't you guys fucking dare because I don't want to get in trouble for this again. Now, we're going to jump forward to a clip here on a girl Courtney's stream where Cyrax is on there and Marty hops on too and they start talking about what's going on with Cyrax. Cyrax tells his side of the story from that night. And you'll see by the end of it that Cyrax can't handle any types of questioning on this issue from Marty or anyone. And he'll he'll jump around his story a lot. It's very it's very choppy. And you can tell Cyrax really isn't telling the whole truth. Nonetheless, let's jump right into it and watch Cyrax kind of flop around like a fish before rage quitting. I'm just highlighting shit that you should read. Yeah, so, from music know, Marty right. says, yeah, Cyrax Marty's is the first person in the US history to get suspended for being a rape victim. Cyrax, I watched, so I got home, I got home, I got home the other night, and I, I, I literally walked in my house, and I saw you talking about this fucking rape shit. What oh, made yeah. you, like, why did you talk about it? Like, was it something you and Tange were, like, it's, I've never heard of the story, oh, so yeah. it was the first time I heard oh, it. Oh, yeah, like, we, we were sitting down talking about it, because, like, she had brought up, you know, I don't know how we got on the subject, but, like, we were talking about it the other night. And we somehow really got on the subject of situations that we had been through in our life. And then she brought up the whole thing with her brother growing, you know, going through a um, red case. And then like, I told her, I was like, dude, that sucks because I've been through that. I know what that's like. And, you know, when I brought that out to her, she was like, she came up with the idea and it's an interesting idea too to like to like help people through telling our stories about what we've been through you know just like i do with you know the rest of my stuff you know how i tell people about you know Cyrus, how are you not so pissed though at that school oh, like i, I think it's oh, insane you should you should have never been expelled oh we tried, oh, we tried and that's the thing that's the thing. We tried to fight it, but due to the fact that he was underage and I was over Oh my age, god, dude. I don't understand that. That's fucking bullshit. I don't mm -hmm. I don't understand it either. I was pissed as fuck at the time. But in hindsight, the way I look at it now is that if that didn't happen, I wouldn't have made the friends that you know I have now, like Jake and all these other people that I've known for years. Leave it to Cyrax to try to find the bright side in a rape story. Nonetheless, I know a lot of people handle that type of situation differently. It's a really tough situation to go through. It, it's got to be the toughest thing for somebody. Because you feel you, there's no 
there's no way to feel about it, you know, like you could, some people lose their minds, some people just, some people don't know how to cope with it, Cyrax here acts just like, yeah, 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 whatever, it happened, but hey, I met my friends because of it, so that's pretty cool, like, I, I just feel like that's not a logical, it's, it's just, that's not a way someone would react to this, act like, eh, whatever, that happened, yeah, I mean, maybe some people would, but Cyrax is nonchalant, like, who gives a fuck attitude, is just like, really? Like, it's, and also, him saying that he was overage and Billy was underage, Cyrax has said at different points that he was like 17, about to turn 18, so I think it's supposed to be Cyrax is 17 and Billy is 16, but I don't really understand why that would just cancel everything out, but in Cyrax's uh, mind, that just completely makes sense and it's an easy way to get over this question. I would Sorry, be super, like, I, I heard you talk about the school, though, like, that you still have fucking, yeah, uh, fucking, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ram oh, yeah, pride and shit. I'd be mad as fuck, oh, dude, absolutely. about it. Oh, yeah, like, I would absolutely. be super mad. I was, very, I was very super mad at the time. But, you know, like I said, you know, aside from that, you know, like I said, you know, everything happens, you know, obviously that whole situation didn't, you know, should have never happened. But also at the same time, the way I'm looking at it now, I know it's kind of a fucked up way to look at it because most people would still be very pissed about it. The way I look at it is that if that situation didn't happen and I didn't get expelled, I wouldn't have made, you know, like I said, the friends that I've made over the years that... Listen, I like, dude, hmm. I dig your positive spin on it. I would still be salty as shit. At a school that expelled me, oh, was, right. you're I was a so, fucking victim, dude. So, oh, believe me, I was so pissed at the principal that fucking did it. Like, I'm still pissed at his ass, and he fucking knows it too. Because every time I see him in the fucking store, I still mean mug his ass. I still stare his ass down straight the fuck up, and he just you, kind of ignores it. Like, do you ever see this kid? Like, do you like again? Oh, you yeah, spoke about the fact that he's so he's I've blind, so right? Yeah, and I've seen, well, not like fully blind, but like he can see like the outline shape of stuff. Dude, but what like the there have been there's been a few times where I've seen him in the store, and I've wanted to walk up to him and deck him so bad, like so bad, I've wanted to punch this dude in the face. But also at the same time, I know that if I do that, he would play the whole "oh, I'm blind" thing and shit. Wow, Cyrax, I'm so surprised that the blind guy would pull the I'm blind and shit card if you just walked up and snuck him in the fucking produce aisle. Like, he, I don't know why Cyrax is acting like he sees Billy and his principal all the time at the grocery store. The motherfucker never goes outside. So this is, this is just more bullshit from Cyrax. And even if he saw Billy, you know, I do feel like there might be a little bit of part of him that's like, hey, you exposed me for raping you. That's completely unnecessary because you ruined my life. And, you know, that's that's how Cyrax acts. Maybe he would do with something with Billy. Maybe he would go up and hit him. Because the only type of people that Cyrax goes after is children. People he can prey upon easily. His grandmother. Another person who he knows loves him unconditionally. And he can do whatever to and nothing's going to change that. So he abuses her. And now, Billy, a fucking blind kid. And that's the only way Cyrax can get a one-up on people. He goes for people weaker than him. He yells at guys like Marty and Glory Hole over the internet, but we've seen how he reacted when Marty showed up to his front door. But when, when talking about Billy, I, I really do think Cyrax would have a quick thought in his head, like, should I go up and hit him? But then he'd probably just walk with, walk right back with Sally, walk with her next to the cart and just badger her if she can buy a few things from the store for him, because he has no money of his own. Cyrax, I'm gonna let him up here real quick. Oh, God. Hey, guys. Hello, hey, Marty. Oh, How are you doing today? So listen, you? wait, before, wait, hold on. Before any of y'all speak, Cyrax, okay. I'm friends What's with up? you, I'm friends with Marty, I'm friends with both you guys. And y'all yeah. have some serious fucking beef and bullshit going on, and I don't think it's going to ever end, and I don't think there's going to be any resolution to it. However, Marty, as long as you're a fucking good boy and you speak on factual shit that Cyrax can answer, we can do this, all right? Okay. Man. Okay. All right. Fucking, it's open. Well, first and foremost, I've never heard of a rape victim being expelled from school for getting raped. Well, here's the thing, Marty, and this is what then a lot of people do get confused on this too. The reason why they expelled me and not him 
was because of the fact that during the time that it happened, he was 16. I was 17, getting ready to be 18 in about six months. And Why didn't Sally the- call the cops, though, too? Like, that's another thing oh, that bothers me is about the school. That, 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 like, yeah, that's, the that school should be irrelevant. Age is irrelevant to aggression. Yeah. Cyrex said that he was almost sent to juvenile hall for this. I actually was because the security people there had looked at me, they looked at my age, and they were seriously thinking about sending me to juvenile hall, but because of the fact that I was underage, and the fact that they knew that I would never like really do anything like that, and that I'm not like that, they're like, you know what, since we know you're not actually like this, and we know you wouldn't do anything like this, to protect you from this Sorry, did he not believe you because he was disabled and partially blind? Was it the fact that they didn't believe your your claims or whatever? I think think so. That may have had something to do with it. I'm not entirely sure as far as their end goes. But I do know for a fact that um, when the initial stuff got brought to them, they were thinking about arresting me. But one of the um and why you, two, dude? Why you? You're the fucking victim. I don't understand why fucking are fucking you gonna get arrested? Because well, in the that. eyes of the law, they didn't consider him the victim. That's uh, evident. And Sarex, you said that he was, you were lying face down on the ground, and you somehow pulled down your pants and underpants and penetrated you in one act. Hey, hold on, right. before you... before you talk, all right? Mar- before you talk, Cyrax. Is there any chance that this kid, like, did y'all have a little bit of a relationship? Did you have something, like, between always, the two of y'all? I mean, see, I always saw him as one of my best friends, but I guess he didn't see me like that. He saw me did as you, more than that. Did you and know I he was know. gay? Was this something that you I knew had, he was I gay? Honestly, I honestly had no idea because he didn't, he, like, he didn't give off that kind of vibe. He didn't give off, you know, that. There wasn't anything weird because, again, like, you know, growing up when we're kids, like, all of us girls, like, I think some girls yeah. kind of the fact that, like, you know, we kiss each other, we do weird yeah. shit. There was nothing yeah. like that. There was nothing that, like, yeah. transpired between you and him where it was an okay thing for me to whip his dick out and stick it in your ass. Hmm. There was nothing okay about it. No, like, he never did anything to, like, you know, make things, like, seem weird like he didn't give off any kind of vibes any signals none of that shit. so look at all the all the bullshit he's trying to get across here because he was about to turn 18 in six months they obviously looked at him and said oh you're definitely you're the abuser and that's the only reason why they did that and then because the cops looked at chance and went this dude is just so pure and innocent. He would never do that. We all know he'd never do that. We can't send him to juvie for that reason alone. Like, it's, I, I bet you what happened was because Cyrax was never in trouble before this, they were like, fine, whatever. You just have to leave the fucking school. I don't know if this was ever like an actual court case or maybe this was something that they had at the school. Like they had a hearing there and they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, kid, don't worry. We know you never do it again, but you have to leave the school. And Cyrax just like oh okay yeah I, I, you know i wouldn't I, i'm the victim here like he he doesn't understand this shit he doesn't understand that everything he's saying right now saying that oh yeah i did almost go to juvie over this like cyrax <laughs> the only reason that would happen is if you were the one accused which you'll never admit you just act like oh yeah i was always the victim from day one but i'd be remiss if i wasn't to to bring up a theory that I've heard Marty float before, and I've actually thought of a few times myself when I hear this, uh, these phone calls with Cyrax and Billy, and it's something that Courtney just brought up there in the call. That's the, is this possibly consensual on both ends? Because I think there is a slight chance, and this is, uh, maybe it's a little one, maybe it's a big chance, who knows? But I think that Cyrax hates the thought of people knowing he's gay. We've seen that a million times. He always drops the F slur. He'll be doing that a lot at the end of this video. He hates, he just doesn't want anyone to know that. I think the Wilkins family is a very, uh, is a very, uh, a non-welcoming family. I mean, look at how many times Cyrax has used this, the N-word and how many different variations of it he uses. You're not going to learn that from anywhere within your own house. So I think it's a lot like Chris Chan and the thought that Cyrax, he never wants anyone to know that he's into that type of shit. However, however, on Billy's end, I do think there's a chance that maybe Billy, being blind, couldn't really see what Cyrax looked like. 
And then when he found out what Cyrax looked like, <laughs> he was like, oh, no. Oh, no. I got to go. I got to act like this wasn't this this wasn't consensual. Now, I'm not going to discount Billy's shit. And you know what? I shouldn't be discounting Cyrax's either until you hear both sides of it. But I'll tell you this much. There is some type of signs that point to this being like this being a little bit more consensual than maybe both of them are letting on. But you can be the judge of that by the end of this video. That's just a theory, though. That's not, we're, I'm still going to operate off the fact that Cyrax did this to Billy, because Billy talks about it later, that Cyrax did this to him non-consensually, goes into much more detail about it, and Cyrax here, all he does is screams, rambles in circles, and tells stories about how he got kicked out of school just for being an innocent victim, which none of his shit adds up. But like I said, you can be the judge of that at the end of the video, and we'll see, we'll see about that when we get there. That's why I was like... Okay. How did this? How did the school find out, Cyrax? Like, what happened? So, like, you. So this happens, okay? Yeah. And then like, you go to school on like, Monday, like no big deal. Like, what yeah, happened? How did the school find out? He wound up going to them for whatever reason. I don't know why, but he decided to go to them and tell them after. After, mind you, he sent me a or gave me a fucking note. That fucking morning that I was reluctant to fuck the paper, I was like, no, fuck it. Let me see what he has to say in this note, and then just, you know, throw it away, whatever. Did you present um, the note to the school? Do I? Did you present the note to the school? Oh, yeah, I did. But to them, that was irrelevant. To them, that didn't matter. What had mattered what had, was what had gone on. That's what had mattered at that point in time. They didn't right. know what to talk about the note. But, they wouldn't give a fuck about, yo, like, you did this, so this is what's going to happen. Like, that's the kind of school that they are. But what had happened was he had gone down there, told them about what happened, and then they then called me down. I was in, like, English class that morning or some shit. I don't remember what class I was in. They called me down, and I was like, okay, what the fuck's going on? This is weird. Because I have not been called down to the office in several weeks. Because, like, about a month prior, I'd gotten into a fight or whatever and whatnot. And I figured, like, maybe they were going to talk to me about that. But, no, I go down there. I see him there. And I'm, like, as soon as I seen him there, I was, like, oh, wait, I know what the fuck this is about. So, I was just, like, what the fuck's going on? But did you sleep over there that night? Why didn't you go home? Oh, I did. I went home like as soon as everything happened. I went. Sorry, to you said you slept over there the last time. Marty, why do you gotta make shit complicated, bro? For real. It's an important detail. Like, see right there, the second Marty has a question for Cyrax that it puts in question the validity of his story, Cyrax is like, are you serious, bro? Like, are you serious? Knock it the fuck off. Like, and Cyrax here, his story, once again, like, he's claiming that Billy wrote a note to him. Taking responsibility, which we'll find out later, is a note that it is Billy either saying sorry or taking responsibility for it. And Cyrax presented the note to the to the teachers or to the principal, and they were just like, no, no, you're a year older, Cyrax, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if he's guilty or innocent, you're a year older, so you gotta get the fuck out. That's apparently the story Cyrax is going with. Nope. Again, again, that's why Cyrus, I'm, I'm asking the question too, like, was there anything right. consensual about it? Was there anything that, you know, y'all were None. fucking around, playing a little bit of fucking grab ass after hours and shit got weird? Is that <laughs> no, like, no, like, for real. Like, I was seriously half asleep when this shit fucking happened. I was dead ass half asleep when this went down. And mind you, he never gave off any indication that he was gay all right so he after it happened gay. though did you feel violated as shit dude like oh, like did yeah. you oh and did you, well i want to know like did you shut up and you shut down and you didn't tell fucking sally you didn't tell anybody because this happened no, and I, all of a sudden you got called out about it yeah like, were you trying to let it go away then at first like when i first got home like that's what i was trying to do like i basically shut down about it Mom was like, you know, what happened? What happened? I was just like, just leave it alone. I'm going to bed. Whatever. So, just like leave I it say, alone. Uh, like, you know how teenagers are, Marty. Like, when parents constantly try to bug you about shit and they try to find out what's going on, and you're like, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Like, I was in that kind of a mood. 
Like, I was in that state of mind, like, yo, just let it the fuck go, kind of deal, and whatnot. So, you know, she let it go. So when I was the first time when... Sally heard about this? Do what? When was the first time Sally heard about this? When the school had called her and told her about what happened. So when did she your conversation, no when did your conversation, like, just let it go happen? That was literally, like, right when I got home. Like, literally, the minute I walked in the door, my mom was like, what are you doing home? I thought you were staying over at Inside House for a night. I was like, yeah, well, that's not happening now. And she was like, what happened? Like, and you what? didn't tell her? Did you tell her no. then when you got back home? Did you tell no, her? I was, no, I, I, was, I was an idiot teenager at the time. I was like, I, I made up a fucking lie saying, hey, you know, their power went out. Whatever, you know, I'm going to bed. Like... I tried to hide it. I was like, I thought you went over there because the power went out. Though. Yeah, I you did. Know? And on our end, it did go out. And then their so, power went out too. And then you're no, like, I'm no, out. No, no, their power didn't go out. I went over there to say tonight because they still had power or whatever. And after what had happened, I had gone home at that point. So I was like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. We have power. Just get me the fuck away from this guy. So I went home. That's not what you said last time. time. Do what? That's not what you said last time. What did he say last time, Marty? He said last time he slept over there and then just went to Marty, sleep. Marty, come I on, you fucking... You know what, Marty? Fuck you, douchebag. You see, with just a little bit of questioning from Marty, Cyrax has to run for the hills because he can't be he can't be exposed to the fact that he had said a completely different story before this and now he's changing it all up to better fit the narrative that he wants to build. He's completely defensive about everything, he doesn't want to get pressed on any issue, and that to me just shows that he's got something to hide. He he wouldn't he wouldn't be willing to just walk away from this and not answer very simple questions about inaccuracies in his story if he was telling the truth. But you can be the judge of that because now we're gonna listen to Billy's side of the story. And I'll let you know Billy's side gets a little bit graphic, like he goes into detail about the shit that happened to him involving Cyrax. So yeah, just be warned about that. But without further ado, here's Marty interviewing Billy. And during this call, which we'll get to right afterwards, Cyrax decides it's time to make an appearance and confront this guy. And oh my god, the fireworks fly when that happens, my friends. Let's get into it. Yeah, so I guess Cyrax is over at your house. Um, from, from what he said, you guys... You know what, actually? Um, why don't you say what happened, you know? Um... Well, I'll tell you what Cyrax said happened first. Um, he, he said that he went over to go and play video games at your house um, because he said the power was out. Um, and, I mean, if you think it's the power or his brother and he said the power, I'm going to go with the power. Um, so he said that he was up in your room and that he was lying face down and you ripped his pants off and, pe yeah, and penetrated him. <laughs> Uh, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Okay, so I have to make a bit of a joke with this one. Sure. If I had done anything like that, he could have easily pushed me off because I only weighed about 100 pounds, if not 90. So there was, if, if that had ever happened, he could have easily just pushed me off. There, so there's no way in hell, even with the limited vision that I have, sure. that I would have done that kind of stuff. I'm not that type of person. Yeah, I've always said it was like a dark room, you know, with your visual impairment. Yes, because this was during the night um, that it happened. It's not really a fair argument from Billy in the beginning saying Cyrax could have easily pushed me off. I was only like 90 to 100 pounds. He, he's really, he, he's given Cyrax too much credit in the uh, muscle department. Cyrax himself was like 90 to 100 pounds. I doubt Cyrax could have even pushed someone 50 pounds off of him. Nonetheless, though, Billy, Billy's blind. He probably doesn't know like the full, the full scope of Cyrax. But yeah, just wanted to point that out. I don't, I think even that's still too big for Cyrax to, uh, to handle right there. Um, so it was... It was about probably, I want to say maybe early spring, maybe late spring, if not early fall. I can't remember, unfortunately, with that. But my room always got really warm during the summertime. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we were up in my room, you know, it was late at night, probably 12, 1 o'clock on a weekday. Um, and 
you know, when, when it gets hot, you know, guys tend to take off their shirts and everything, you know, that kind of stuff, just keep cool. Sure. So I did that, you know, didn't really think much of it. You know, it was just keeping cool. Mm-hmm. And um, if I were, yeah, I do, scarily. Um, sorry about the details being a little. No, funny, no, so. dude, yeah, that's more than fine. Um, but, you know, I just remember um, I was either on my belly on the floor or I think I was searching for something. And the next thing I know is I'm in a doggy style position and basically uh, my my pants and underwear come off or at least down to the ankles. And he basically gets behind me and just starts rubbing himself himself on my ass, basically. No penetration, but I want to say it was probably just a way to get himself erect. Who, who the hell knows? Sure. Um, and then he flipped me onto my back, or at least moved me onto my back, and ended up sucking and jerking me off until I ended up uh, ejaculating. And uh, he seemed to have enjoyed that because when I was about ready to ejaculate, he had said something along the lines of, oh yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, there's, there's a, a lot to process here. Um, so first off, so he pulled your pant to his ankles and he started rubbing, I guess, against the exterior of your, your, your backside. Yes. And at this point, I had never given any type of consent whatsoever. Um, and, you know, when stuff like that happens, sometimes it takes your brain a while to process. Sure. My brain, unfortunately, did not process anything until after. Yeah, I, you know, I understand. I guess, like, you know, people could argue, did you say, no? but, you know, you were in shock. You were like a deer in headlights right. and, and paralyzed. Yes. Understandable. Um, how how long would you say that he rubbed up against your... It um, wasn't really that long. Maybe 10, 15 seconds, I want to say. Sure. Um, did, he, uh, did he get an erection? That, I actually have no idea, and I don't remember. So, if he did, I sure as hell didn't tell. So. Okay, so after that, he turns you over... And starts jerking and sucking your penis. Yes. Um, Again, all the while, while I'm still in shock and everything, and still not having any, not giving any consent for him to do any of that. Understandable. See, when Billy describes it and going to get into much more details, it's pretty fucking gross, but you can understand that Billy, talking about this from the perspective of a friggin' 16-year-old, obviously he was going to be a little bit, like, like kind of not understanding it all at the time, not realizing what happened, especially if he's a blind kid in the dark, you know? I don't know how that is. I'm not going to say that, oh, all blind people, they just say don't process things fast, but this is a kid who was assaulted by his friend, and uh, you can just hear, now Marty's chuckling with this because he knows what this is going to do to Cyrax. This is going to make Cyrax lose his fucking mind. Billy's here genuinely just telling Marty everything he wants to know. Uh, Billy seems pretty open about this too, just like Cyrax is. But the difference is Billy goes into the details you really need to hear about. It's gross to hear about, but at the same time, you know, if you want to know what happened on that night... There it is, Cyrax, uh, it seems like Cyrax was just like, alright, I, I want to get this on, and like Billy says, Cyrax never asked him once if it was okay, Billy never once gave him consent, and pretty soon you're going to find out that Billy was in no way, shape, or form okay with this. Um, did his, I mean, he has like, some very unique, like, teeth, did it, did those become like hazards at all, did they, did you feel any, like, chipping or uh... no I didn't feel any chipping but he wasn't sucking long enough for me to really be able to tell 
So it was mostly. That was all. It was that mostly was also pretty quick as well. So it was mostly jerk. Yeah. Um. All right. From start to finish, like how long did this act take? Would you say? Uh. Mm, how long would it, how long uh, did it take? I understand I as being like young, you know, it's probably uh, quicker. Um, yeah, I'd say maybe uh, maybe a minute thirty to two minutes potentially as a wild guess. Hmm. Um, what did he, and, and he was saying like, yeah, do you like that or something to that accord? Um, I can't remember if he had said that. If he did, I don't actually know if I ever gave a reply due to the shock. Yeah. And so afterwards, like, what happened? What did, what did he do? So after that, I think we just kind of, uh, you know, we just ended up going to sleep till the next day. Um, you know, I was, once everything kind of processed in my brain, you know, I just, I wanted to act like everything was okay. And... So, with that being a school day and everything, he ended up, you know, my mom ended up driving us to school, you know, with both of our stuff. And I ended up, you know, just trying to go through a normal day of school. But, unfortunately, with the events of that previous night that happened, I only made it through maybe a little bit of the day. And I was like, I can't fucking do this. It's like, I need to tell someone about this. Okay, can, can I, I just, um, I just want to back up very briefly. So after you ejaculate, did you ejaculate, um, like onto him or? I'm already only asking the hard hitting questions, the things we need to know. But in all honesty, it really shows that Billy, he, he was traumatized by this. He couldn't, he went to school feeling weird. He felt violated. He, he had to tell somebody. And Cyrax's side of the story is, and eh, just don't worry about it, mom. I don't care. And, you know, like I said earlier, people deal with this in different ways. I'm not just going to discount it if in some way this happened to Cyrax and all, everything I'm saying is wrong. Highly doubt that's the case, but it's, Billy seems genuinely like traumatized about this. Or at least he was at the time. When Cyrax talks about it, it's like, hey, I had to go to a new school, so I met my friends. I guess he looks at it as a good thing because he didn't have to stay at that school where all those kids were probably thought he was a rapist. He could have gone to a new school and just kind of forgot all that shit in the past never even happened. But with that being said, with all that being said, all those clips being shown, I think it's finally time for you to see how Cyrax reacts to Blind Billy saying this. How Cyrax reacts to a man claiming that Cyrax did this to him when they were kids. Cyrax has his story, Billy has his. Maybe they can talk about it and be like, listen, dude, like, why are you saying this? You shouldn't be lying about me. And if Cyrax has some proof, he can talk about it. And maybe that's how the conversation will go. It'll be cordial. It'll be, it'll be between two gentlemen. We'll see. But I think we all know how it's going to go down. And let's just jump right into it and see Cyrax and Billy talk to each other for the first time since maybe that fateful day. All right, so he's 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 here right now. Should I just not let him on? Mm, he's probably going to go complete ape shit with, ape, the ape shit with this. Well, and cares? I would he's, not be in the least bit surprised. Yeah, he's an idiot. He's a total idiot. You know, like, um... It's oh oh he's he's literally pounding his fist right now. <laughs> well, you know the funny thing is, I told one of my partners about what he did, and my partner punched the shit out of their keyboard because of how pissed off they were with him. Hey Billy, why don't you shut the fuck up telling the truth, you fucking little bitch? Why don't you tell them the truth about what you did to me, you bitch? I removed him. He's he's screaming. I hope you're not uncomfortable with that. That's real mature. Hey, Billy, you're a fucking liar, you fucking ass little bitch, and you know it. And Billy, you can't say the F word, sorry, actually, you'll not be allowed here. You know, if I were you, I wouldn't trust this fucking. I mean, he's calling you the F word while your dick was in his mouth. I mean, yeah, but you know. There you go, sir, X. There you go. Come on, come on, Billy. Why don't you tell the truth? Tell them the truth about how it was acquitted and how it got let fucking go, you <laughs> bitch. Right. Ass. Hey, right. Billy, tell them the truth, you fucking rapist little bitch. Acquitted? So, it, <laughs> did this ever become criminal? Tell them the fucking truth, Billy. Tell them the fucking truth. Never criminal. Fucking... 
you I fucking punk ass, ass bitch. Punk. Tell him the goddamn truth, boy. The you. fucking truth. <laughs> and Marty, why don't you... <laughs> yeah, that's the appeal. Just like a kid on Call of Duty. <laughs> that's the appeal. Really? Listen, bro, you and I both know, you and I both fucking know that the schools removed me for my own safety so I wouldn't beat your goddamn oh, ass after what oh, you Mark. fucking did to me, you bitch. You ain't nothing but a th but a loser who honestly deserves me behind fucking bars like the rapist that you fucking are, you fucking punk ass little bitch. Get hey, Billy, why, <laughs> hey, Billy, why don't you tell the fucking truth, you fucking... Just look at him, coming in guns blazing, saying, tell him the truth, tell him the truth, make me stop looking like a bad guy. You take the fall for this so I don't have to. He doesn't, he doesn't give a shit about anything. If he really did, and it looks really like he did with the fact that he got kicked out of school and everything, Billy's testimony, Cyrax's all over the place testimony, that he really did do this, it's friggin' disgusting that he's treating the person he did like this, like this. I know I'm saying that a lot, but you know what I'm getting at here? Like, he's sitting here screaming at the person who he abused, saying, just just, just tell everyone that you're the one who abused me and I'm the poor victim here, because he just doesn't want to be in trouble. That's all it is. He doesn't want to face the music for his consequences. He'd rather the guy who he assaulted have to do that so he can get off scot-free and be a world-famous musician like he deserves to be. Billy hasn't gotten, like, one word since Cyrax joined, because Cyrax just has to scream, call him slurs and in Cyrax's mind that's gonna make all these people go holy shit this poor poor innocent Cyrax this Billy monster just needs to be stopped Cyrax is just like how can you not love that adorable face sitting here saying the F slur over and over again it, tell the truth you fucking loser because you and I both know you're lying through your fucking punk ass teeth you and I both know that I know you better than any motherfucker. You and I both know that I know you better than anyone. You and I both know that you did that shit to me, you fucking. And honestly, Billy, lucky I'm not there right now, because I'd be beating your goddamn ass within an inch of your fucking life, you fucking punk ass little loser. So go ahead, keep running your mouth like the lying little fucking that you are. Go ahead. No, honestly, get over it. Jeez. I both you know. Young yourself. Because apparently you don't. And trying to swear at me makes you real mature. And well, you raped me. I did not touch no, you. No, 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 no. You got your story backwards. You raped me. And I remember it completely. So I don't know where you got that. Whatever, from. Billy. Billy, you and I both know you're a liar, you bitch ass little. Awesome, man. Seriously. Like, I don't know, hey Billy, how? Whatever. What kind of shit you're on, like, dude? Seriously? Hey Billy, why don't I come to your house and beat your fucking ass like that you are? Why don't I beat your ass for the shit you've done to me? Why don't I come there to your fucking house and? Yeah, he seems agitated. Sorry. Oh, one second. Sorry, actors. I think I muted you. Jesus Christ, he's so primal. He sounds like a monkey from Planet of the Apes speaking their first words. You raped me! I did not rape you! <laughs> like, like, he doesn't, he, he's just, he's freaking out here. Billy is just saying like, yeah, no, dude, you got your story backwards. You're the one who did that to me. He's like, Billy, you're so lucky I'm not there now because I'd beat your fucking ass all this shit. Like, he's, all he's doing is throwing out threats, doing exactly what abusers do when one of their victims is threatening to come forward and expose them. It's, it's classic abuser 101 and it's classic Cyrax 101. Kind of weird how both those things line up so well. You would, Maybe you would think that Cyrax is an abuser. Wow, it's, it's so shocking. So Cyrax leaves the stream out of anger, and also mostly out of anger from being muted. If he can't be screaming and people can't be hearing his garble, then he's going to get out of there and then rejoin back so he's not muted and has a fresh slate. And that's exactly what he does. About a few minutes later, he joins back to keep on giving Billy the works, act like he's just owning Billy when really he's just making himself look so goddamn bad in the process. So let's jump right into that. I got Cyrax here. Here, one second. All right, yeah. Yeah, so, Billy, you're gonna fucking tell the truth yet, you fucking little bitch? 
Let you get to speak. No, you get to speak. I'm gonna tell the goddamn truth about what you did to me and how I never did a goddamn thing to you. Like I said, Billy, you seem to forget. I know where you live, and trust me, if you don't tell the truth, I will come to your house and beat your fucking ass. Sure, you no, upset. shut the fuck up, Marty. You punk ass little bitch. I want Billy. Shut up, Marty. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you right now, Billy, you better man the fuck up and tell them the goddamn truth, you fucking rapist little I'm bitch. Them. Tell right. them the fucking truth and tell them about how I didn't do anything to you. You and I both know I didn't do anything. So tell them the truth. Tell them the truth, you fucking punk ass. Because believe me when I say this, I will come to your house and I will beat your goddamn ass. You forget I know where you fucking live. You forget that. And you seem to forget that I know your address and I'm in the same town as you. So do something. See if I don't beat your ass. Tell them the truth. See if I don't beat your goddamn ass. Keep digging your grave. That's all I'm going to say. Keep digging that grave of yours. Because that's all you're doing. I, I think his grandmother just pulled the internet out on him, to be honest. One thing that I've always noticed, and it could mean something, it could mean nothing, but it's the fact that Cyrax, when bringing up to Billy, at the end there, he never says to him, Billy, tell them what you did to me. Billy, tell them what that you, that you assaulted me. It's, Billy, tell them I didn't do anything to you. Tell them I didn't do anything to you. And it's not its not because he's innocent. It's because he doesn't want to get in trouble. He doesn't want Marty to have more ammo. He doesn't want the world to know his dark secret that he's trying to hide so that they don't know the, the really, really creepy shit he's done in the past to other people. It's Cyrax 101 to constantly deny, 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 deflect, deflect, deflect. And thats it's on no better display than in this video here and in the things he does. Um, and also in videos about him, like, deflecting from being a pedo. It's Cyrax's main way of communicating, his main way of trying to get out of trouble, is just to deny, deny, deny. I know I'm saying a lot of words three times in a row, but I feel like it's necessary. Because Cyrax here, he'll do these things over and over again, and by the end of the day, he'll convince himself that these things are true. I genuinely think at this point, he's believing that I didn't do anything to Blind Billy. Blind Billy did stuff to me he thinks back on it and like maybe sally says oh chance don't talk to him after what you did to him mom i didn't do anything to him he did stuff to me and she just has to roll her eyes and go oh god like here we go with this now i feel like that's what happens with chance he lives so far in his uh, make-believe fantasy world where he's always right and all the trolls are always wrong and he's a kick-ass rock star who's just a, a music legend and he, he gets everything he ever wanted in that world he's right 100 percent of the time and he can't understand that people in this reality can't comprehend that to him it's like we're the crazy ones blind billy's the crazy one for not understanding cyrax is like weird bullshit that he believes and that's always the case with cyrax he always believes he's right that's why i call him the king of akron because not only does he believe he's the king of akron he believes he's the king of the world he thinks the whole world revolves around him there's nothing more in this world than cyrax's attic and all the trolls on the internet who bother him other than that this world may as well be a blank slate because that's all it is to Cyrax. And when it comes to these things with Billy and these things like the pedo shit and all that, all these terrible things he's done in his life, he just wants to throw that shit out into the void where nothing else is except for him and forget about it. And anyone who finds it and picks it up and asks him about it, well, fuck you. Fuck you. I'm going to lie. I'm going to do whatever I have to to make sure that shit stays dead and buried where it belongs. And if you were opposing me, well, then now you're my enemy. Doesn't matter if you have good intentions about exposing me because of the terrible shit I've done. You're the problem and you're the enemy. And how is he going to respond to that? Well, by yelling at you and calling you slurs or, you know, if he found out that Billy's gay. So his word of choice was the F slur. He just has to try to be as hateful, spiteful, vitriolic as he can to people. And at the end of the day, he's the big winner because that's how it works in Chance's world. And uh, it's, it's just Chance's world. This is Cyrax's big, beautiful world that we all enjoy while he sits, sulks, and freaks out in his attic and has no idea that it even exists. He's a wild little one in Cyrax, and he'll never take accountability for anything that he's ever done. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going with this. All I know is that's the story of Cyrax 
and what he did to Blind Billy. Now, you can, like I said, you can have your opinions. You can see that video and go, wow, Blind Billy was a little bit suspect too there. But at the end of the day, it's like, how many times have we seen Cyrax lie about such menial shit and then really lie about all his serious shit? You know, he's doing the same things that he always does when he's lying. Uh, Billy here, like, why, why did Cyrax get kicked out of school for that? That's the biggest one to point to. Like, the fact that he got kicked out of school after this and Billy says, yeah, he did this to me and Cyrax is only excuses Billy tell them I didn't do that to you come on come on tell them there's no there's no upside to this for Cyrax and um like I said I had I threw that theory out earlier that this could be consensual maybe that's the case but who knows who knows that's just a theory what we do know for a fact is that Cyrax got kicked out of school almost went to juvie for this and blind Billy claims that he's the one who did it and the only person who claims that blind Billy did it to him is Cyrax himself so take that for what you will and with that, we end the video today, my friends. I, uh, if you stuck around to the end, you know you're a goat. Like, it's it's over about an hour now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I enjoyed making it, not as much as my other videos, because, like, that last part with Billy talking about, like, the actual, like, event, it's kind of like, ugh. Like, ugh, that's kind of, fuck. That's fucking gross. It's terrifying. But, um, I, I hope you guys are more informed now. I usually say I hope you enjoyed it, but I hope you're more informed. And with that, I gotta shout out some goats. So, shouts out to Vanessa, Cody Hale, Scaly Schisms, Echo Spectre, Feelin's Party Place, Churlish, Pythea, Your Mom, Krabby, Mick Surly, Adrian Lara, Sky, Sky Fitzpatrick, All Right Stingy, Isaiah, Blake Austin, G Man, Gypsy Pauls, Trademark, Cyrax is Stylus, Commander Louie, Justin S, The Ghostbusters Fan, Steve from Machete Squad, Chef Meme Maker, Vaga, Italian Boy Advance, East, Chris Chan's Fanta Bottle, Pebra, SK Rooks, Bullet BP, Kaitan, Synthesist, Music Biz Marty's Bong, Oinker, Fat Potato, Dan Dan Noodles, Dr. Miasma Morbius, Emery King, Try Give Black Tiger, ATK Cast, Jason Breen, Philly B, Based Trucker, Club Doom, Jason Brafford, Jose Garcia, Robot Gorilla Man, Seal Currently, Jay Sorensen, Everborn, Eric Estrada, Akiba's Beat Fan, Gravy, Jurassic Clark, Burger Boy, Hillbilly Wizard, Sora Trash, The United States Department of Homeland Security, Isaiah, Danny the Foot, Hurricane Salem, Cyanide Candy, Prideful Jester, and Smokey's Dealer. You guys are all fucking goats. And I've, as I already said, everyone who made it to the end here, you guys are goats as well. The weekend is almost here. Well, not really. It's like Tuesday, but it's going to be here before you know it. And when it gets here, I know y'all are going to enjoy it. And I'm going to enjoy knowing that y'all, you guys can all chill out, relax, and enjoy some videos. Uh, something I wanted to bring up is we've been doing live streams, doing some low cow wrestling. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. However, something I know a lot of you guys enjoyed, even if you're not into that, is a low cow Royal Rumble. And due to the... Uh, Due to the fun we had while doing that, it's going to be more or less not an annual thing. We're just going to do it whenever we get around to one while playing the uh, the game on the streams. And lo and behold, we're actually only about two shows away from doing another one. So I'll keep you guys posted on the community tab. I'll keep you guys posted in Discord. If you want to join the Discord, the link is in the description below. Everyone's welcome. And, uh, well, you gotta be over 18 and not be a weirdo. There's tons of, there, there's a few qualifications, but for the most part, y'all are all welcome. Like, all y'all goats are welcome. But, um, I'll let y'all know when this is going down, because I assure you guys it'll be one of the most fun streams <laughs> you'll ever watch. I'll, uh, I'll probably get in trouble with Miss Smokey, because I'm gonna be going crazy. I'm gonna be going crazy, absolutely. And, uh, I hope you guys are there to enjoy it. So, yeah, I'm gonna head out of here, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And until I see you in the next one, Take care and stay safe, my friends. I'll see you then.